on settings. So we're just going to hit the right. Our strange is a story based game that teaches you player choice consequences of all your game actions and decisions that will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. So surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. It's a struggle. Not bad. You, you don't have so beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And I do love my analog camera. Of the I should take a quick picture now. We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban sol- shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max 
has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. I can't believe pencil. I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the paper. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kick. career in photography so Stella and Alyssa get it together Taylor don't hide I'm still waiting for your entry too and yes Max I see you pretending not to see me dang rough yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste hi Kate oh Even if you're hi Max you seem quiet today just thinking too much. I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Please. I have my moment in the camera, Ari, and everybody should oh, have that totally. chance. totally. I right? only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just... I don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Like a myth or now, it's all you like need is the courage dream. to share your gift with others. And that's what looking. separates the artist from the amateur. Crazy. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camp. Steal it. You can never escape the lighthouse here. The lighthouse, there it is, there it is. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. 
mysterious forest lighthouse. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you always welcome to the real world. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture next time. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. And she plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Wait. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Square EDX for the win. She's so fucking shy. Look at the music. Why? That we're going to the bathroom. To all of you, American Poor girls, Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Without you, American I wish October would last forever. Like it looks like she's been gone for months. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Check uninstalled. Shoes go. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Picture. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. Everyone you talk. This school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Like, why'd you come? So, what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo! Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How Crazy can dreams. it be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. 
These pieces of time can frame us. I already words. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate shadow. is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition Rewind in black again. Rewind. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? You're crazy. Why are sure. Because of her image of this camera. Crap. Long time. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Dang freak it. out. Max. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Effects? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the real test? you want. Now, Max, since you've kept... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned the, chapters. Uh, the Max is so far way ahead of evidence. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, you don't need hurry the bad we we packer stuff. Yes, Max, I see you pretending we gotta to pack see our stuff. We got Oh, dang. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yeah, well, where are yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. You are? Where's that at? Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, excuse me, what? Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. 
I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Oh, okay, we're well, using his quote against him. I like it. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ooh, you're right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go save this person. I hope I have enough time to get to the kid. bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I don't even take, take a picture of this kid. Uh, you know I don't see. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. She washed her face. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Here's then the butterfly. the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Like that. What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so I need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Get for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hand. Oh, Holy no. shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just Fire saw a girl run. get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Alright guys, see you guys in the next episode.